Howdy. Take number three. That's the last one. If it just doesn't go well, I will post what, what's coming out of it. Strange cloud in satellite data catches interest of scientists. <clears throat> yeah, I might be not crazy after all, since it's like really adults doing it as well, watching clouds. The small stratocumulus clouds has a complex origin story. A peculiar cloud, as NASA terms it was found over the Caspian Sea on May 28th, the cloud offers an interesting case study of how satellites can detect such phenomena in Earth's atmosphere. Scientists used NASA's Terra satellite to watch the cloud as it moved towards land and then dissipated in order to learn more about how small stratocumulus features like this form. The stratocumulus clouds tend to be clumped together at low attitudes in the atmosphere. This is, this one was spotted at, at about 1,500 meters, 5,000 feet, above Earth's surface. What made it really stand out in new images captured by Terra's moderate resolution image and spectrodiometer modis, however, was the cloud's hard boundary. Sharp edges are often formed when dry, warm air from land collides with colder, moist air over the ocean. The cloud forms at that boundary. Bastian van Diedenhoven, an atmospheric scientist of SRO and Netherlands Institute for Space Research, said that in a NASA statement posted on June 16th. Sorry for that. It is unusual to see this type of cloud. What's going on? In Eastern Europe. I had similar problems in the first two takes. <laughs> now it's just going like that. Where is it? Let's scroll down. And unusual. It's unusual to see this type of cloud in Eastern Europe. Why? I just like, what? <laughs> they are not responsible for the clouds up there. As opposed to over an ocean area, although its appearance could be explained by the Caspian Sea being the world's largest inland body of water. The sea is surrounded by countries such as Kazakhstan, Iran, Turkmenistan, Georgia, Azerbaijan, to name a few. You often see this kind of cloud off the west coast of Africa, but at a much larger scale. He suggested the cloud could have formed when warmer, drier air that possibly came from the Balkans, the area around Greece, hit colder and moister air over the Caspian Sea. And he was a researcher, atmospheric scientists from the Institute for Space Research. Let's have a look at the cloud. It is an interesting cloud, nonetheless. And I think it's very big. So maybe we have to just take a look at the Caspian Sea and see if we can find anything from interest on the bottom of the sea. Maybe we have to go to, what was it called? National Data Buoy Center. Here we are. Atlantic Potential Tropical Cyclone 2. Okay. Any buoys in alert mode? Yes, check it out. It seems that it dropped quite fast, the water level. But there is just one now in action in this region. Are there any else, anywhere else? Doesn't look like. But anyway, let's search for the Caspian Sea. Might be this one. Yes. So there's not that much resolution. 
and the cloud was somewhere up here. Because there is this triangle again. And it's fairly deep. And maybe this thing has something to do with the cloud. Let's go back to the article. So it is here we have the triangle. <sighs> What's that? Festivo. Uh -huh. We got rid of it. This triangle points to the south edge of the cloud, so it has to be on the northern side. Here we have the triangle. Let's just try to draw a line. No surprise that there is another triangle. We maybe could them call also like tetrahedrons. There's nothing really visible in that, except that we have something like sea mount looking 61. But how shallow or how much water we have in the surroundings, we don't know. But there is a mount, a sea mount. So if it's going to be active, or it is going to be, it has this energy exchange with the atmosphere. Maka Chakala, or however you spell it. This was in the article, and here we have the sea mounds. So maybe I have to show you Giovanni Gregorio's paper about sea urging spines. Introduction to plasma tectonics and electric geology, solar wind coupling to planetary circuits, lightning tells the stellar transformer story. Bruce Leyburn and Giovanni P. Gregory. I will put a link below to this paper. Earth magnetic hoops. Sea urchin spines. So. We have those sea mounts and they will make a connection to the surface and atmosphere layers. And since there are many layers, they make many connections between those and they might be interconnected as well. Or they are. So this is what I think about this strange cloud from NASA. That there is something going on underground, which makes the connection, which creates a cloud, because there is an electric, there is an, an energy flow which excites the water molecules and they form a cloud, because they get charged and we get visible plasma in order, or hence it's a cloud. So maybe we have to check out also earthquake activity. I don't know, we cannot go back so far as we were in the article. But we can check it out at least as far back as we go. Seven days. And then here you can see when it's, it is counting, loading the quakes. So we have time to check out the Caspian Sea. Search for the triangle, which is here. Maybe here is better a line, and here is the city which was mentioned in the article. It is still counting. We don't see anything from the bottom of the sea. Nor do we in this. It's just blue. That's why I went to the National Data Buoy Center. 6,733 quakes in the last week. But this picture was taken a month ago or something, or even longer. There might have been something going on. And it doesn't mean that there has to be any earthquake. Energy exchange can happen really silently. 
mostly it happens silently. There's nothing more going on than just the energy exchange. Because it is within the range of, how to put it, normality. There is quite something going on in Europe today. Weather-wise, we won't dive into that now. Central Europe, France, Belgium, Germany, Poland, Czechia, the whole area. Really bad weather warning for this area, at least. So be prepared for a few hours without electricity, your street flooding, your basement flooding, roofs falling, flying off, and hailstorms, and what have you. But anyway, I leave it here. Strange clouds. Wherever you look. Thanks. Bye.